What's up, Show Nation? This is Chris Singleton, and welcome to the show.
Welcome to your Saturday edition of Inside the Show. I'm Justin Allegri. Starting off in the National League East, the Metropolitans defeated the visiting Fightin' Phils 4-3. The Padres center fielder, number 32, sent two into the seats while driving in three as the Friars took care of the Rockies 4-3. The Los Angeles Dodgers racked up 11 hits as a team as they got the win over the Giants in San Francisco 3-2. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim pitched well, allowing only three hits as they took down the visiting Guardians, 5 to nothing. Eloy Jimenez was a clutch performer at the dish with four RBIs, leading the Rangers over Detroit, 4 to 2. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll be back here tomorrow and all season long.
Welcome, everyone. A very happy Easter to you from all of us here at Inside the Show. Let's recap how Saturday's games played out. Looking first at the NL East, the Houston Astros swung it well with 15 hits in the game as they used a walk-off for the win against the Nationals, 6-5. The Marlins got 12 hits in this one as they beat the Braves in Atlanta 10 to 7. The New York Mets allowed only 5 hits as a staff as they defeated the visiting Fightin' Phils 7 to 2. The Chicago Cubs combined for 10 hits as a team as they took down the visiting Orioles 9 to 4. The Reds allowed only 5 hits in the game as they sank the visiting Buccos 1 to nothing. The Brewers grabbed 13 hits in the game as they got the best of the visiting Redbirds 8 to nothing. The Colorado Rockies sent three balls into the seats as they grabbed a victory over the Padres at Petco Park, 8-6. The Dodgers knocked out 12 hits as a team as they got the win over the Giants in San Francisco, 6-3. The Arizona Diamondbacks had 12 hits as a team as they took down the Rays in St. Petersburg, 4-3. Zach Veen launched two home runs and added five RBIs to his total as Kansas City took care of the Blue Jays, 7-6. The Red Sox combined to allow only four hits as they took down the Yankees in the Bronx, 4-1. The White Sox right fielder, number 28, picked up three base knocks in the ballgame, helping the White Sox dispose of the Twins, 5-2. The Cleveland Guardians picked up 14 hits in total as they destroyed the Angels, 11-2. The Mariners grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics, 4-2. The Texas Rangers put together 10 total hits as they defeated the visiting Tigers 7-5. And that's the show for today. Once again, have a very happy Easter, everyone.
Hi, I'm Justin Allegri, and this is your Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Starting off in the National League East, the Nationals got 12 hits in this one as they defeated the Rays in extra... Hey there, baseball fans. Justin Allegri. The season is still young. Let's check out some of the results from yesterday. Looking first at the NL East, the Washington Nationals swatted four home runs in this one as they took down the Rays in St. Petersburg 10-5. Welcome to Inside the Show. Baseball is back in April. Let's check out some of the results from yesterday. Starting off in the National League East, David Delgado got his first career win as the Nationals downed the Brewers 3-2. Also out of the nation's capital, right fielder Lane Thomas has been placed on the 10-day IL according to team reports. He's dealing with a finger contusion. Mason Wynn plated three runs. Hey there, baseball fans. Justin Allegri. The season is still young. Let's check out some of the results from yesterday. Looking first at the NL East, the San Francisco Giants knocked out 10 hits as a team. Welcome to Inside the Show. Baseball is back in April. Let's check out some of the results from yesterday. Starting off in the National League East, the Milwaukee Brewers took down the Nationals in Washington 2-1. The Miami Marlins combined to give up just five hits as they defeated the visiting Giants 2-1. The Mets got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park 4-3. The Braves totaled 13 hits as a team as they pushed past the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine 9-0.
Hello there, baseball fans. Great Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened in the major leagues on Saturday. Looking first at the NL East, the Nats got an astounding 20 hits in total as they took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee, 13 to five. In other news from Washington, D.C., shortstop Chris Zambrano will be out of action for the next couple of days. He has a pulled calf muscle. The Marlins put up 16 hits on the day as they defeated the Twins in the Twin Cities, 8-6. The Phillies pounded out 17 hits in this one as they grabbed the win against the Seattle Mariners, 9-7. The Atlanta Braves combined for 10 hits as a team as they cruised to the win against the Tigers, 12-5. The Rockies put together 10 total hits as they took care of the Mets at City Field, 5-1. The Cubs knocked out 10 hits as a team as they got the best of the visiting Redbirds, 8-4. The San Diego Padres grabbed 13 hits in the game as they ran over the Reds 10 to four. The Pirates hit three long balls as they got the win over the Giants in San Francisco seven to four. The Oakland Athletics totaled 11 hits as they took down the Yankees in the Bronx seven to six. The White Sox allowed only five hits as a staff as they took down the Rays in St. Petersburg two to nothing. The Toronto Blue Jays knocked out 12 hits as a team as they beat the O's in Baltimore five two. The Boston Red Sox combined to give up just five hits as they beat the Guardians in Cleveland 6-1. The Diamondbacks broke up their five-game losing skid as they beat the Royals in... It's Monday morning and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting off in the National League East, the Brew Crew bested the visiting Nats 2-1. Entering the day's action, the Brewers sit in second place in the National League Central and the Nationals sit in third place in the National League East Division. The Minnesota Twins allowed only five hits in the game as they beat the visiting Marlins. Welcome to this edition of Inside the Show. There will be 42s everywhere today in honor of the barrier-breaking Jackie Robinson. Before we get there, though, here's what happened yesterday. Looking first at the NL East, the Nationals totaled 13 hits as a team as they beat the Guardians in Cleveland 6-2. The Braves beat the visiting Red Sox 4-0. The Arizona Diamondbacks finished off a three-game sweep as they took care of the Mets at City Field 5-0. The Padres launched three home runs as they defeated the visiting Fightin' Phils 3-2. The Giants completed a three-game series sweep as they beat the visiting Marlins 8-6. The Chicago Cubs pitched well, allowing only three hits as they bested the visiting Rockies 4-0. The Milwaukee Brewers combined for 10 hits as a team as they took down the visiting Blue Jays 4-3. The Los Angeles Dodgers smacked 15 team hits as they cruised to the win over the Cardinals 8-1. The Rays held the opposition at bay with only four hits as they grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics, 5-2. Floyd Towers drove in three, helping lead the White Sox over the Yankees, 7-2. The Royals grabbed 13 hits in the game as they defeated the visiting Tigers, 10-4. 
The Twins picked up, wow, 19 hits in this one as they got the home victory against the Astros 16 to 3. Andres Quinones had an outstanding five hits at the dish, helping the Orioles defeat the Angels 11 to 2. The Cincinnati Reds had 12 hits as a team as they beat the Mariners 4 to 2. The Pittsburgh Pirates grabbed the win over the Rangers in Arlington 4 to 1. And that's our show on this Jackie Robinson Day. Should be a lot of great games as well as celebrations of the great number 42. Talk to you again tomorrow. It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting off in the National League East, the Dodgers went... The beginning of the work week and welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the Los Angeles Dodgers totaled 13 hits as a team as they pulled away from the Nationals 8-2. At the start of the day, the Nationals are in fourth place in the NL East and the Dodgers sit in second place in the National League West Division. The Atlanta Braves combined for a four-hitter as they beat the White Sox on the south side 6-2. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Monday. Starting off in the National League East, the Miami Marlins tossed a combined one-hitter as they got the best of the visiting Mets, 5 to nothing. The Astros got 12 hits in this Great Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened in the major leagues on Saturday. Looking first at the NL East, the Angels put together 10 total hits as they bested the visiting Nats 7-5. In other Nationals news, third baseman number nine has been placed on the 10-day injured list. Diagnosis says it's a pulled hamstring. The Braves combined to allow only four hits as they got the win in extra innings over the Cardinals, three to two. The New York Mets combined to give up just five hits as they grabbed the win against the visiting Reds, three to two. The Phils knocked out 12 hits as a team as they beat the visiting Marlins, six to four. The A's sent three balls into the seats as they defeated the Pirates at PNC Park, 8-5. The Dodgers got 11 hits overall as they bested the visiting Rockies, 7-4. The Cubs grabbed 13 hits in the game as they made short work of the Padres, 7-1. The Diamondbacks allowed only five hits as a staff as they got the win over the Giants in San Francisco, 3-2. The Tigers' second baseman, number 85, sent two into the seats while driving in six, helping lead the Tigers to the win over the Yankees, 11-2.
Brett Beatty plated five on the day with two big flies as the Rangers took down the Orioles 11 to nine. The Chicago White Sox tallied five home runs overall as they grabbed the win over the visiting Twins eight to seven. Josh Naylor had an outstanding day at the plate with eight runs batted in as the Blue Jays nabbed the win against the Guardians nine to four. The Kansas City Royals swung it well with 15 hits in the game as they got the win crushing the Red Sox 11 to nothing. The Strohs allowed only five hits in the game as they beat the visiting Rays 3 to 1. The Mariners starting pitcher number 64 earned the win his fourth this season helping lead Seattle past the Brewers 2 to nothing. They continue to win as they now have nine straight. And that's what's happening. Welcome everyone, let's jump right in and revisit the news and events from Monday. Looking first at the NL East, the Washington Nationals grabbed a victory over the Padres at Petco Park, 4-3. In other news from Washington, D.C., starting pitcher Henry Merced is currently listed as day-to-day. -day. They're calling it a strained abdominal muscle. The Atlanta Braves hit three long balls. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Wednesday. Looking first at the NL East, the Nationals earned the three. Welcome to your Saturday edition of Inside the Show. I'm Justin Allegri. Starting off in the National League East, the Yankees smacked 15 team hits as they took down the Nationals in Washington 10-3. The Marlins pitched well, allowing only three hits as they beat the visiting Red Sox 3-2. The Los Angeles Dodgers knocked out 10 hits as a team as they got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park 5-2. The Metropolitans totaled 13 hits as a team as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati, 4-3. The Colorado Rockies racked up 11 hits as a team as they took down the visiting Braves, 5-2. The Royals' right fielder, number 15, was a major force at the plate with six RBIs as the Royals got the win over the Cubbies, 10-5. The Brewers amassed 14 hits in the game as they took down the visiting Guardians, 10-7. Leover Puguero was clutch with the bat in his hands, driving in five runs on three hits as the Cardinals flew past the Orioles 10-3. The Pirates grabbed 13 hits in the game as they got a road win against Arizona 6-5. The San Diego Padres totaled 11 hits as they dismantled the Giants 8-2. The Tampa Bay Rays had 12 hits as a team as they beat the Blue Jays in Toronto 6-2. Ian Seymour won his fourth game thus far, leading... It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the Washington National. TGIF, and welcome to Inside the Show. In the National League Central, the Milwaukee Brewers combined to give up just five hits as they defeated the visiting Fightin' Phils 6-2.
Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results. Hello there, baseball fans, and welcome to a Mother's Day edition of Inside the Show. Starting off in the National League East, Mauricio Ordonez grabbed his second win of the year, leading the Dodgers to victory over Washington 6-3. The Braves allowed only five hits as a staff as they defeated the visiting Fightin' Phils 4-1. The Brewers launched three home runs as they took care of the Mets at City Field 9-4. The Baltimore Orioles totaled 13 hits as a team as they beat the visiting Marlins 6-4. The Pittsburgh Pirates held the opposition at bay with only four hits as they grabbed the win over the visiting Twins 1-0. The Rockies allowed only five hits. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the Atlanta Braves brought out the rooms in a three-game sweep as they took care of the Mets at City Field 5-4. The Blue Jays combined for 10 hits as a team as they got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park 6-5. The Chicago Cubs tallied five home runs overall as they bested the visiting Padres 11-3. The Orioles got 12 hits in this one as they beat the visiting Rays 8-3. The Red Sox combined for four total home runs as they grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics, 11-10. The Guardians completed a three-game series sweep as they defeated the visiting Tigers, 5-2. Thanks for joining me. That's all for today. Same place, same time tomorrow. Great Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened in the major leagues on Saturday. Looking first at the NL East, the Reds grabbed 13 hits in the game as they took down the Nationals in Washington 5-3. The Royals hit three long balls as they pulverized the Braves 11-1. The Rangers knocked out 12 hits as a team as they took down the Fish in Miami 8-6. The Tigers halted their six-game losing streak as they knocked out the Fightin' Phils 11-3. The Arizona Diamondbacks launched three home runs as they got the best of the visiting Mets 7-3. Cole Wynn got his third win this season, leading the Cubs to a win against San Diego 2-0. Roger Craig got his second W of the season as the Brewers were winners over the Rays 5-3. The St. Louis Cardinals racked up 11 hits as a team as they bested the visiting Rockies 6-1. The San Francisco Giants pitched well, allowing only three hits as they defeated the visiting Yankees 3-1. Lolo Sanchez drove home three runs as the Pirates disposed of the Blue Jays 4-3. He also extended his hitting streak to a modest eight straight. The Boston Red Sox put together 10 total hits as they beat the O's in Baltimore 5-2. 
The Minnesota Twins swatted four home runs in this one as they pounded the Guardians 12 to nothing. The Houston Astros pitched well, allowing only three hits as they got the best of the Dodgers at home one to nothing. Jonas Valencia collected win number two on the year as the Angels got the win against the Mariners five to three. They are on a roll with eight straight victories. The White Sox sent three balls into the seats as Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Looking first at the NL East, the Nationals' third baseman, number nine, was all over the diamond, hitting for the cycle, helping Washington get past the Marlins, 8-6. The win was their sixth in a row. The Twins knocked out ten hits as a team. It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting off in the National League East, the Nationals stole five bases in total as they took down the Fish in Miami 7-4. It was their seventh straight victory. The Braves swung it well with 15 hits in the game as they defeated the Twins in the Twin Cities 8-7. Ryan Helsley collected win number three this year, leading the Mets to a win over Oakland 4-3. The Philadelphia Phillies went deep four times as they embarrassed the Dodgers 16 to 10. The win was their sixth straight as a team. The Milwaukee Brewers hit three long balls as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati 7 to 5. The Diamondbacks picked up 14 hits in total as they plundered the Pirates 13 to 2. Ricky Pierce was victorious for the fifth time this season as the Yankees got past the Rockies 7-1. The Giants combined for 10 hits as a team as they took down the Rays in St. Petersburg, 7-2. The Toronto Blue Jays put together 10 total hits as they bested the visiting Padres, 3-1. Welcome, everyone. Let's jump right in and revisit the news and events from Monday. Starting in the AL West, Julio Rodriguez drove in an impressive five with two home runs, helping lead Seattle to a victory over the Marlins. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting off in the National League East, the Washington... Great Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened in the major leagues on Saturday. Starting off in the National League East, the Atlanta Braves combined for a four-hitter as they pulled away from the Nationals 6 to nothing. Tristan McKenzie earned the victory while striking out 11 as the Metropolitans beat the Mariners 4-1. to As of today, he is in the top five in the National League in strikeouts.
Adam Norris collected his eighth win in relief as the Orioles pushed past the Phillies 4-3. He is among the AL leaders in wins. Felix Ayala earned his first career big league win on the mound as the Rockies defeated Miami 5-4. Michael Tolia had a total of three RBIs on the day, helping Pittsburgh get one against the Brewers, 4-1. to one. He has now hit safely in seven straight games. Xavier Edwards dominated at the dish with two long balls and six RBIs as the Cardinals beat their rival Cubs, 9-7. to seven. His modest hitting streak was also extended to five straight games. The Arizona Diamondbacks amassed 14 hits in the game as they got the victory in extra innings over the Red Sox, 8-7. to seven. The Padres had 12 hits as a team as they beat the visiting Rays 5-4. The Giants starting pitcher, number 80, grabbed the victory his fourth of the year, leading San Francisco over Cincinnati 4-3. As of today, he is in the top five in the National League in strikeouts. Heston Kerstad was a force at the plate driving in three runs, helping the pinstripes pass the Blue Jays 5-4. He is currently riding a 14-game hitting streak. The Chicago White Sox broke up their seven-game losing skid as they cruised to the win against the Tigers, 10-2. Jeter Downs had a great day driving in five on three hits as the Royals got the victory over the Guardians, 11-4. The Dodgers totaled... Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Monday. Starting off in the National League East, the Nationals only allowed two hits in the game as they grabbed the win against the visiting Royals, 5-1. The Mets totaled 13 hits as a team as they grabbed the win over the visiting Twins, 8-7. Juan Barrero grabbed his fourth victory out of the pen, helping Pittsburgh get one against the Brewers, 3-2. Julio Rodriguez was a major force at the plate, driving in four, helping lead the Mariners over the Cardinals, 5-3. He is among the American League leaders in home runs. The Cincinnati Reds got 12 hits in this one as they got the win over the Giants in San Francisco, 7-3. The Yanks knocked out 10 hits as a team as they took down the visiting Blue Jays, 8-3. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim combined to give up just five hits as they blew out Baltimore, 8-2. The Astros' closer, number 72, grabbed his second win of the year, leading the Astros to a victory over the Cubs, 6-4. That's all for today's show. See you back here tomorrow. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah, yeah.